So for those of you who really want to see a two-stroke or the smoker itself, here it is, no stock work this time. We are going to ride the KTM after a quite a long time. I uh, exclusively ride the stock for about, I don't know, like a month or two. So this bike, it feels totally new. Anyway, if you see the title, you are probably here because wondering are we going to get a Cadillac converter style so what I was about to say if we are getting those crazy exhaust system what's on the KTM uh, or not in Europe the European KTM Huskies I'm just gonna go slow so you can truly can hear what I'm about to say at the beginning because it's quite important so if we're getting those crazy looking exhaust with the auto sensor and it has a cat uh, built into the exhaust or we are not so to start with I uh, posted a thread on the social media like half a million people or maybe more uh, looked at it in a few days like three four hundred comments and they uh, pretty much all come on one thing they all said either they're not gonna buy that bike anymore if it comes like that or they're gonna cut it off or you know something radical but definitely not the way it came well, first of all why it comes like that the european regulation very strict way more than the United States one and then you're gonna say why we don't have that kind of regulation in Europe and I can tell you the reason for it because you guys over here has a very new car lineup and they are not as bad of creating a bad environment for as the air goes than the one in Europe the European cars are very old very outdated I'm from Europe so I know a lot of them are diesel, a crappy diesel, no offense for the diesel, but what they have very old, very crappy diesel engines and the smoke and the air quality over there is terrible compared to what you have over here in the state. So the KTM kind of has to suffer uh, by the car industry and do they gonna come with that technology over here in Europe, I mean US, and if they do, how is that gonna affect us? Uh, I doubt they are coming over here, but unfortunately I do not know. And uh, if they come over here, you're probably gonna take it off. That's what you think, you're gonna take the, that exhaust part off and just simply stick the old design on it. And you think that's gonna work, but it's not because it has an O2 sensor in it which is controlled by the ECU and the ECU needs to know uh, how to mix the air and fuel ratio by having that freaking O2 sensor and all that crazy stuff over there if you just take this up you probably need to remove the ECU and hopefully the bike will work that's a very intense uh, money-wise and label-wise a very intense work just to have a KTM uh, other manufacturers you know, doesn't have that kind of stuff this is still belong to Bajaj uh, that's still a Bajaj technology I mean belongs to sorry I just tried to see please you on the same time what am I supposed to do to keep your attention on <laughs> so this technology still belongs to Pierre mobility and maybe Bajaj will change that, who knows the other thing is the O2 sensor is front of the cat which is can help you to cut the cat out if you really want to go radical then you can cut it out and if there is nothing behind it there is only one O2 sensor then you can get away by cutting the cat out and increasing the horsepower because all of that stuff is just reducing the horsepower and that comes down to the fact these KTM bikes are such a good bike 
it has a very very linear power it feels like it's gonna fall apart anyway so these bikes are very good linear powered engine and KTM worked very hard to be like that when I rode my 4 stroke I was surprised how torque it is uh, that's not the part where I was surprised but how hard that to make uh, to ride like technical areas compared to these two strokes and uh, we all know this is a lovely lovely engine but with that setup what KTM tried to force on us it will re change that, reduce the power it changes in many ways, I'm pretty sure it does uh, Stark one, on the other hand, you will see in a minute why I picked Stark it has a KTM related content Stark one, on the other hand, is very linear, very nice smooth power just like this bike has without the clutch and gearing and I do not understand why KTM has to does what he tried to do instead of doing what Tesla and other car manufacturers does uh, if you don't know what they are doing they actually giving other manufacturers giving Tesla money to use some of those whatever they need to use to equalize the regulation out so they call a uh, one needs to be fixed for this, the regulation because they are complying overall with the quality of the unit because they're using the stacked Tesla uh, whatever that is uh, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about and I don't understand why Stark and KTM doesn't do that they can use the, the Stark stuff to, to comply instead of making all of these changes probably they don't like Stark as much because oh what was that Stark making a very big move with day back people seem to love that bike I just hit my helmet on that freaking thing so I'm pretty sure they're not gonna do that because why would they be team up with uh, with Starkwag the big enemy the the guy who actually the company who actually going to race on the MXGP and then over here in the United States probably against the KTM traditional bikes but anyway so that's probably not gonna happen so to wrap this up I think that design it speaks to be removed and not to be on the bike for a long run because it looks so fragile sticks out so much and I don't think KTM put enough thought into it for a reason because he knows people are gonna remove that no matter what and that's how they probably saved a little bit of money by not designing it properly because they know those things are never gonna make it to the bike only for passing a regulation test but uh, let me know what you think would you have that on your bike would you buy that bike with that kit or you modify that kit to be on there which one would you think you would do oh, you're just not gonna buy that bike anymore there's a lot of people say that they're just gonna skip and start working and towards to another bike manufacturer and, and having their bike as their favorite I just crashed into the tree a minute ago and I haven't recorded this KTM is just so so much different than the song the way it turns it turns so bad so much better the kit I mean the stock is just feels heavy after this one of when it turns and I'm just constantly making silly mistakes with this because this thing turns so easy compared to the stock the stock turns good but 
the way this one does it it's just better there is no way over here on the top the battery on the stock is up here and when you lean you know you have to compensate and you don't lean as much then you can do on this one safely so I just have to adjust myself properly to ride with this one but anyway whew, you can beat the sun that's for sure what would you choose you still going down on the KTM plan and just keep buying those machines and inventions what they come up with or are they just gonna say let me just represent to you that's enough I'm done with this brand period which one would you be let me know in the comment section catch you on the next one